these top plates functions as such. Being a pair of dimension is the only thing that's important. Uh, plus, it does have a, t a swivel plate made from the same material. In this case, to go right in the middle right there. And I've, I'll give you a tip in a video that may benefit you. If you If you, I'll show you something. You see that bolt right there? If you was to buy a bolt that was just a half inch bolt by say an inch and a quarter long in order to have enough length to protrude through this lock nut, then you'd, you'd have threads going all the way up under to, the, to that part. So in order to get a bearing surface, alignment pin, so to speak, if you buy the longer bolt that has the unthreaded part, then you cut the threads off, and now you've got a alignment section. I'm just saying. And you put one of the machinery washers on the top, and it gives you about the right depth there, to the point when you assemble this all of that and you the distance this is quarter inch metal and this is quarter inch metal and the distance between them two is to, to the point of that lock nut, if I tightened it up there, it would run out of thread, so it needs another one of those machinery washers, and there was two in the kit uh, with them, uh, with the with the, with the one and a half horsepower welding kit. Uh, uh, con consists of this same mechanism, and and this being that being the complete front bolster set, and this one here is drilled actually for tie downs. Most of them ain't. Uh, uh, there's other ways to tie them down. I, I just sometimes do. It's according to how wide your wood uh, skids are, and, and you can see this one here is out of my norm as to the location of these bolt holes because I wanted this one here to be, and, and these are 7 16 bolts, and I wanted them to be in a kind of near the center of the wood. Well... So this piece of wood I'm going to give that a real good sanding put some stain on it cut them ears like that right there on the bell put some clear polyurethane on them not sure what kind of, could be poplar, it's kind of light, but it's a good sturdy wood. So, and, and the way, the way that I do this, and, and on this particular cart here, is, I'll show you. Okay. Well, on this particular one, the reasoning for this, now you be looking, this is the bottom 
it will be turned upside down and this will be the bottom part but if you notice when you get these lined up like right here and here okay on on this particular cart those holes comes out to the center of the wood so i just mark it right here you know drill about halfway through and and we'll set that back i got it on there for balance now uh, once we get on with the project this piece of metal will be about four inches uh back set back from the front of the skid and the length of the skid is, uh, in this instant here, this skid is 42 inches long. Make a note. And if you, if you look across the end of it right down there, um, oh, well, that's um uh, it's two and three quarters this way. That's how long it is across the under. Two and three quarters. So and the, on this particular piece right here, uh the up and down is three and one half exactly up this way. The metal Oh, I didn't mean to knock me down. Uh, the metal part is, you know, looking, looking, looking across through Yanner. Um, uh, it's exactly this metal is twelve inches long, with the uh, uh seven sixteenths bolts it'll be quite hefty the one and a half horsepower size completely assembled rear bolster measures out nine inches exactly same procedure to locate the holes except all of the ones that comes in the welding kit that i have assembled all of those these holes right here on these top pieces you'll notice on all of them every one of them the the measurement on that is three quarters that way and three quarters that way, and that intersection is where that hole goes, and that goes, and you just set you up a jig for me in the milling machine over there and drill them, you know. So, and this being the rear, and The front one with pivot. It is advisable. Uh, they, they, these two have not been painted yet. It is advisable to to weld. On, on the side part right here and on the side part over yonder, you, you can weld a small piece of metal to restrict the radius where this turns, uh, which is a good idea because when you're building these carts, any of them factory made, made carts to be on caution also is uh, uh, to the point of being able to pivot completely around at this point right here you can easily get overloaded 
so it is advisable to to uh add that stop to whatever turning radius you would require even to the point that you would run a bigger wheel and you was okay with it coming to the point where that the wheel diameter would just make contact with the skid that's where you would put your restrict and then go to the other side the same way and you won't mess up your woodwork Enjoy. Trolley number two. Before this, Emerson Braham. I got the magnet off of it there right now. You know, just seemed like I needed a change of pace today. So I thought I'd just go ahead and start building on this cart to go underneath it. Uh, it'll have uh, roller bearings, you know, it'll have a grease fitting on it, and you can grease it up. Makes transport really, really good. That horsepower being two and a half, it's quite heavy engine. Uh, it has all the uh, tributes to a hit and miss engine that would have. Uh, so I'm going to build my interpretation to a hit and miss engine type cart that would have been kind of period correct but with uh using the tools and shop equipment that i am capable of building with the equipment that i have let's get on with it Uh, uh, just what I've done is, uh, oh yeah, I marked all them off just as a visual to, that's four inches from the end down to that line right there is four inches. Okay, and and, and, and and this is just to answer a question that was here on the, on the bugging house. Put that loads in here for. Uh, but we're looking at the bottom of the skids to be. This plate is 12 inches from one side to the other. And on this particular one, on this particular skid, So basically, we're looking at this engine cart turned upside down. This will be the part that pivots. So at this point, it's all, all of them are marked at four inches back all the way around. So we have a reference point. And, and these skids right here are, they, uh, I've done already quoted it before, but we'll do it again. They're 42 inches long this way. And it's about, what, three and a half or something that way 
uh, it, you use the size of wood you have and adjust to it. That's uh, two and three quarters that way, and it's uh, three and a half this way. Uh, it's a pretty decent saw job, but uh, the blade wandered a little bit, I believe. So, so um, I'm gonna mark it off, get the hose drilled, and then we'll sand her down right there and put some stain on it. But the easiest way, in lieu of breaking out some measuring the equipment, is you can mark this using the part you're going to put there as the pattern. So the way to do that is to take your square, put on the skid itself, and square this plate to this skid. And what I'm doing is, is putting it on the side here, slide it down, and then looking down through the inner see where it's at. And it's it's right on it. No, no, no guesswork about it. It's pretty square. So, and I'm just going to take a pencil and and poke it down in that hole that I done drilled there yesterday. And in this case right here, it's 7 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, now I have the pattern as to where to drill that hole through this skid in order to bolt it there. Two bolts with lock nuts on the bottom here. And, and and you mark all all positions using the part that will be there as the uh, pattern. In order to in order to make your bolts come out, this is the bolt that I'm going to use in there, and it'll go all the way through the all the way through the skid here, right down through there, on to there, upside down like this. So, and it'll have a lock nut here. The uh, And we'll use this kind of drill bit. It's It's got some of them little, it's a wood bit, got them little, it cuts a, it cuts a, the outside the hole first. Works pretty good, I guess. The, the way to make this actually fit when you drop your bolts in there, is you turn these upside down. And then you put this back on here like that. And you put this back on here like that. Now you mark them again. And I'm only working with this side over here at the present.
Yeah, okay, see, I was going to do that wrong. I'm glad you caught that. In order for this to be upside down, this has to be upside down. So I have to turn this upside down like this right here because when I get all these holes drilled, this will be mounted on the bottom of this. And the two bolts will go down through from the top. So in order to make everything line up, as is this square edge right here is perfectly square with that edge within reason that if you line this line up here and this edge down around here you can go ahead and mark it right there but you know it always you you you, you put the square on it and uh and confirm uh and, and now you mark it. Now when you drill halfway through this piece of wood from this side and then turn it over and drill halfway through the other side, let the drill bit come all the way through at that point to matching holes, then you, you'll have a drop in bolt. One, it won't come out sideways on one side. This little corner right here. We'll cut that off. We take a grinder to that right there. Uh, grind it to a 45 degrees, whoop, like that. But in the meantime, uh, we 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 go we go sand this. Uh, we'll put some marks on there so 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 we know where we've been. The intentions is not to bring this wood to slick. Uh, uh, I would I would prefer it to have some uh, some character, you know. Uh, yes.
that size right there that you're looking at on the screen, that's for a three horsepower McCormick Durian M or an engine of like size. That's some kind of, it's a, uh, it might be poplar. Not sure on the type of wood that is. But you see them two pieces of wood in the back right there? I think that's maple. It's really, really heavy. i tell you about them two skid runners. Oh, we'll have to cut them to size, drill a bolt pattern. Let's get that done. Cast iron wheels, roller bar. That's that 36 grit right there. On that orbital sander, 36. You know, just knocked it down. Bevel the ends off there. Hose drill. And we get some stain on that tomorrow. 